Welcome back to this lecture. Now let's continue building a dashboard. We have only two major elements remaining. One is to bring the background for this donor chart and also bring in the KPIs. So let's adjust the size of this chart a little bit bigger like this. And also change the font for this text box to bright like this. Other elements are okay. Now let's insert the shape. So let's insert a shape like this or something like this as well. You can hold the shift key to have the perfect size when you're resizing it. So here also you can change the shape like this. Okay, now we don't want any outline and send it back. And here, let's change the background to something like blue. Now this looks okay. Before we bring in the cards, we need to have some space here. So let's reduce the size of this chart. So Let's reduce the size like this, bring the entire shape like this. We forgot to merge this, so let's group them. Okay, and Still we can have some space. Now this is fine. Now let's go to insert shape. So this would be my first shape. I don't want any background. I, I want a dark blue color like this here. It looks similar to background. So let's choose this color. And the first KPI would be, you need to select the shape, go to the formula bar, press equal to, go to the new business sheet and choose this particular cell. That is AC12, press enter. And now we need to change the font. I'm gonna choose this font and make it bright white like this middle middle something like this so this is our revenue the revenue card now let's copy it down and change the color to blue like this and since it's matching with this color, let's change it to this blue. And instead of this cell, cell value, let's bring in the gross profit that is AC13. Press enter. Make it bright again. Choose this font and make it something like this 28 size and also change the shape so go to shape format edit shape change the shape to let's choose this okay let's make it square and reduce the font size this looks okay and now you can again copy it down and first thing we can change the reference to the value go to new business this time we want net profit and again the same font and 28 net profit go to shape format edit shape and this time let's keep it like this okay and the shape color would be green or you can choose even a light green like this 
Now the last shape would be for or last car I should say for the OCF of the business. So is equal to go to new business sheet, select this cell that is AC15, press enter. Double click on this font color to white, choose the font you want and make it 28. Let's change the shape to something like this and let's rotate the shape to the left side the arrow on the left and also the color color would be this okay now this is the hundred percent of the screen so my resolution is 1920 by 1080 p so this entire dashboard supposed to fit in that resolution so let's change the size accordingly so I'm gonna reduce the size like this and go to the right side and still we need to reduce the size something like this okay and bring the text to the left this looks okay now again we need to reduce the size of the chart now you can always choose alt key to fix this chart to the cell level like this so you have exact size like this okay okay still we need to reduce the size here as well and all these shapes something like this till we have some space so we can adjust till reduce the size oops reduce the size like this After adjusting a little bit here and there, you'll find your perfect position of the dashboard of all the charts. And here you can still adjust the size for some numbers which are squeezing, or you can further reduce the font like this. Here also you can reduce the font size. Okay. So it depends upon the screen resolution and also the size you want your dashboard to appear on. So it depends how you want to show it. So it, it, it's all flexible. That's why we have merged the shapes. We have grouped the shapes so you can do it easily. So that's about it. This is the dashboard for our uh, new business as you can see. And that concludes the exercise. This is a dynamic dashboard as I mentioned before. Anything you change will be automatically updated here and you can share it with your uh, prospective investor or a banker where you are asking for a financing or you can share it with your partners if you have so there are many uses of this beautiful dashboard and since it's dynamic you can always reuse it for the future purpose thank you so much for watching if you have any questions regarding the building of dashboard please let me know in the q a section below in the next lecture, we're going to prepare the dashboard for our existing business, uh, which would be same as like this. We're going to copy this dashboard and just change the data. So first we need to prepare the data for it and then change the various elements of that particular dashboard. So let's do that in the next lecture. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.